Okie dokie, so one of the first things we're going to do, now the engine's back together, is we're going to uh, strobe, uh, put a strobe on the ignition timing just to get the ignition timing spot on. So uh, we've got the strobe, we've connected the uh, black to uh, live, that's uh, negative in our case, and we've connected the red to earth, so just onto a good earth somewhere, that's fine, because I can't reach the battery so easily. And then we've got this sort of trigger switch. That's a switch, and it says it goes on number one, HT lead, and there's an arrow saying that way to the spark plug. So we've clipped that over number one HT lead. Okay, and then we've opened the uh, little uh, inspection, timing inspection aperture and we've got a needle uh there that's that's sort of part of the screw so that needle will be where we exactly where we line the timing up with so we're going to start the engine we're going to rev it uh people often say where do you rev it to well basically you rev it until it stops the line will stop moving when you get to about three and a half four about four thousand revs that line no matter how hard you rev it it won't go any further so that's fully advanced. When it's on fully advanced at like 4,000, even up to like 8,000 revs, it will never advance any further than that. Okay, so we'll start it up, run it up to about 4,000 revs. We'll see the line appear there. We'll see how close it is to the needle. And then we know how much we need to adjust the actual, uh, this, um, what do you call it, sender unit, whatever you call it, this plate anyway. We can turn that uh, to get it dead on. Okay, uh, so I'll, uh, I'll get the engine started, put this camera on a tripod, and we'll see how we get on. Okay, hopefully uh, we'll be able to see it. Um, you'll be able to see the, the line uh, on the strobe. So, uh, yeah, petrol on, we have a tickle on the old carbs. Yeah. Ignition on and hopefully we'll start up. Okay. And there we go. So you saw that line, and uh, I think that means uh, that we it was like one millimetre the other side of the pointer. You know, it probably means it's about one degree out. But, you know, we're going to do it, so let's do it. So I think that means um, it was just too advanced by like one degree. So we're going to loosen this plate, and uh, I don't know if you can see, but... There's a sign on it that says advance that way. So to, to advance ignition, you turn the plate that way. But obviously we want to retard it. So we're going to loosen these three pillar bolts and move it back a fraction of an inch. And then that should be it. Okay. So I'll just, I'll just uh, loosen those off and we'll move that plate back and try it again. Okay. I've loosened those three. Turn the plate back fractionally. Try again. Probably now it's going to be retarded, but there we go. Ignition on. I'll see if we'll start without tickling. Yeah. And there we go. That was absolutely spot on dead on so that's it it's fully advanced that's just the timing set you never have to touch it again so i'm going to tighten these three pillar bolts up so that's it timing set forever in a day and uh and then put this on properly it's amazing how much oil does come out of there tighten that up and uh i'll probably not put well seal on uh it doesn't need it really but it does need to be done up properly tight because it will leak otherwise Okay, there we go. Uh, uh, strobe ignition done, just like that. Uh, yeah, just uh, one thing on the timing. 
Um, of course, um, because it's electronic ignition, we only have to set the timing up on one cylinder because then the timing is automatically set for the other two. If this was points, then we'd move and we we check each cylinder in turn. So that little clip, we put it on the second uh, HD lead, then the third, and there would be a different timing mark appear. That's why there are three timing marks on the rotor. There'd be a different one appear each time, and we would adjust the points for each cylinder because the points are, different, are separate from each cylinder, so you have to set each one separately. But for electronic ignition, they're, they're already set at, what is it, 120 degrees or whatever it is. And so, you know, once you set one, the other two are automatically set. So you only have to do one setting. Uh, and if it does leak from here, it shouldn't do, but if it does weep a bit, then just put some well seal on. Because, of course, we should never really have to take that off ever again until the engine's rebuilt, you know, sometime in the future. By the way, I've, I have left the original plate on just for a bit of originality rather than buying a new one. Um, but, yeah, of course, that plate shouldn't really come off again. So if it does start weeping and dribbling a bit of oil, just put some welds on it and, you know, it will be there forever because, you know, we shouldn't have to take it off again. Okay, uh, yeah, we're getting there.